now that we have all of our music commands, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff in the help cog just so that you can search up the descriptions of commands and all that stuff. So first of all, in the help cog, we're just going to import a bunch of things. So we're going to import discord. Um, we're going to import and then from discord.ext import commands. And then what we want to do is we're going to make a class called help cog and we're going to say commands.cog so basically just making it a cog class and then we're going to de define init and we're going to say self and bot and then we're going to say self.bot equals bot and self.embed orange equals and then I'm just going to copy and paste in this color and this will just be for our embeds that we have in this cog so now that we just have the init command up we can go back to main.py and just like how we added the music cog we also want to add the help cog so we're going to say from music cog import music cog we're just going to copy and paste that and i am going to say i'm going to delete music and add in help and uh, in VS Code, you can alt click to select uh, two cursors at the same time. So then what I can do is, first of all, since we're going to be making um, a help command, we want to delete the uh, default help command that comes with the bot because it's not the command that we want. So we're going to remove, oh, remove command and it'll be the help command that we remove. Then we're just gonna copy and paste what we did for the music cog to initialize it, and we're gonna delete music, and we're gonna put in help. So again, this is basically going to the help cog saying in the init function, we're gonna pass through bot, uh, and then that's just the, the bot itself right here. And that is all we need to do in the main cog. So once we're in help, we actually want to make um, make some functions. So first of all, I think something that's useful is to have an on ready function that basically tells everybody in the server about the bot when the bot comes online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say at commands dot cog dot listener async def on ready and self, we're gonna pass in self. So basically this is just setting up what's called a listener. And we did the same thing in the music cog with the on ready, uh, assigning all of the IDs to the different variables. Um, but basically it's just saying whenever the bot comes online, do this and only when the bot comes online, do it. So we're gonna have a variable called send to channels equals a an empty array and this is just going to be a list of text channels that we send our welcome message to um and we're going to say for guild in self.bot.guilds um so we're taking all of the servers that the bot is in and we're doing this for every server we're going to say the channel equals guild dot text channels at zero um so this is just taking the first text channel in the server and then we're going to say send to channels dot append channel and this will append the channel for every server we're going to append one channel that it sends the message to and we're going to say hello embed equals discord dot uh or sorry discord dot embed and parentheses and we're going to say the title equals hello there and honestly at this point you can kind of go wild with everything i'm just going to write my description copy and paste it in and then i'll show you what it is after this
Okay, so right here, I just put in a description saying, hello, I'm Gerald the Robot. Uh, you can type my command prefix for an exclamation mark, and then uh, you can use the help command to see command options. And then I gave the color of the embed, embed, embed orange. So then after this, we're just going to say for channel in send to channels. And we're going to await channel dot send embed equals hello embed. And that is our on ready function. So it's basically just saying hello to every server that the bot is in whenever it comes online. So then the, the real reason for this cog is our help command. So what we can do is we can say uh, at commands dot command and we're going to say name equals help and then we're going to say aliases equals aliases equals uh, and we're going to put h and then we're going to say help equals and again we're going to leave it blank up until now um so in a bit we're gonna put um help messages in all of the commands that we just did so that people can actually call the help command so we're gonna say async uh, def help and we're gonna pass in self ctx uh and just self and ctx then we're going to say help cog whoops help cog um, equals self dot bot dot get cog and then we're gonna say help cog and we're just going to copy and paste this for the music cog so we're going to go right here we're gonna place this with music cog and then we're gonna say commands equals help cog dot get commands and then we're gonna copy and paste this and say plus and then we're just going to do music cog dot get commands and really right now this isn't really that useful since we only have one command in the help cog but if you ever decide to add anything to this then it'll just make it a lot of e a lot easier to have all of the commands automatically assigned to one variable so then what we're going to do is we're just going to have a help command description that automatically builds itself so we're just going to make a variable called command description and I'm going to paste in this right here real quick and say the help command provides a description of everything since the help command is the only command in um, in this cog. Then we're going to say for C in commands, we're going to say message equals c dot help um, and that is basically everywhere where we left the help option blank like right here so this is what we're accessing so c dot help um, and then we're just gonna say command description plus equals and we're gonna format the string and then I am going to take this right here. Um, and then we're going to put in curly braces and say uh, message. Oh, wait, whoops. Sorry. First, we're going to say C dot name, which again is just the name of the command. And then we're going to do space. Uh, help or sorry message and then i'm going to put another one of these things afterward i'm going to put this as the formatting right here and do slash n and that so if you're wondering what these little asterisks and um the the quotation marks are for it's actually formatting in discord so if i go in here i can actually say um i'll, I'll show you exactly what it would look like hello world and then this and this so i'm just formatting it so that it stands out 
whenever you see it so that the command name is like kind of separate from all of the other stuff. So we're just having the com command name and the command message. So cool, now that we have that command description, we can go to down here, we can make a commands embed, and then we're gonna do discord.embed, and open the parentheses, and we can include the title as command list, and then comma enter, the script description, um, equals command description, oh, description. And then we'll also make the color be self.embed orange. So just like that. And I think that's pretty much it for our help command. So once we're done with that, let's go to main.py and run our thing i'm gonna do it again so once it has run it should yes so once it's run um gerald should uh post a message saying hello i'm gerald the robot uh do exclamation mark for a uh, command and do help for command options so i'm just gonna do help right here what went wrong? Oh, I forgot to uh, print the embed. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to say await ctx.send, and then we're just going to say embed equals commands uh, embed. And then that, that should work. So I'm going to restart it real quick. Um, we'll see Gerald's message pop up real, uh, soon, but then I can, yeah, right here. So it popped up and then I can say help and it's going to just be an empty list because it's not actually, um, getting any help options from any of the commands because we just left them blank. So what I'm going to do now is, and you can put any description you want in, in these commands. I'm just going to put some descriptions in the commands and I'll come back to you once they're all in there and then I can show you what the help command would look like. All right, so I added in a bunch of descriptions for all of these commands right here in the music cog, and also I added one for the help command in the help cog. Um, I also moved around some things right here. So in the help cog, since we're actually printing the help statement as part of this because we're putting in the help cog commands to the commands, and then we're going through the commands so it'll include the help cog um, description right here. I decided to make the command description empty instead of just repeating the help command description. And then I also deleted this message variable because I decided I could just put the c.help uh, thing in the brackets itself. And that is about it. So we have our embed message and our uh, whole embed right here. And if I run main.py again, we can see, and I, I already tested it out, but um, so he prints out the message and then I can say help and it'll print out all of our uh, commands right here. And as you can see, as the nice formatting with all of the descriptions and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I think now we have our entire Discord bot finished. So congratulations for making it this far. You did a really good job. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this series. 
Uh, I hope you enjoy the bot that you now have, so you can use it in any server you want. Um, you can play music for all of your friends and stuff like that. Um, what I personally did with my bot was I took a Raspberry Pi and I loaded it onto there so that it's running separately from my computer now. So now it's running all the time in a few of my friends' servers. But yeah, I, I hope this helped. Um, or at least some part of the series helped. And if you liked this series, then leave a like on some of the videos or just to come back to them later so that you have them saved. And subscribe if you found any of my other content enjoyable. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I will see you in some other video.